And a British champion, what does that mean to you? British champion. Not a title I was expecting, especially not this year. Um, but yeah, massive. You know, it's, I'm the debut British champion as well. We've never had para racers at this event. So to be here on this stage is a massive privilege and uh, long may it continue. How special is that to, to be, I guess, the first, this is the first champion at the first time this appeared at, at the championship. What is that, you know, how special is that for you? Oh, it's massive. I think I definitely wasn't planning on winning today. Um, I don't think I've ever beat Sammy Kinghorn. Uh, so that was a bit of a shock, but she had a couple of chair issues which worked in my favour. Um, but yeah, to have that title, you know, it's a tough one to put on the list and, you know, I just, just hope that what's gone on today kind of is a good sign for things to come. You know, I hope this is the start of more integration and, and more para events around the country. Yeah, tell me about the race itself. The time was just a shade over a minute. But how did it feel to you? Uh, the time wasn't great. Uh, the track's not the fastest in the world for para for, for wheelchair racers. It's a bit spongy. Uh, it's a little windy out there. Uh, I'm trying out some new equipment. So lots of different things that I'm juggling. But you know what? Just happy to get out there and race. It's been a very long year without it. <laughs> I mean, this is around the t exactly the time the Paralympics would have been. How nice is it to get here in front of the national audience and, and do your thing, I guess? Oh, it's so nice to be back on the track. Um, I was gutted when Tokyo got postponed. Um, I was the one in the house that cried. And this year kind of just lost all meaning. It was really hard to keep going at some points, but then the Muller British champs popped their head up and finally we had something to train for and work towards and, and thankfully all the, all the work paid off. Where have you found that motivation from, I guess, during lockdown to keep going? And where do, where do, what do you draw on in that time? Um, I guess for me, I really found my motivation last year. After a terrible 2018, I kind of used last year as a kind of make or break year. You know, am I going to carry on or is this it? Like, I cannot go any faster. And I had a brilliant World Champs at the end of last year. So, came into this year really confident. Um, obviously, lockdown was a bit of a knock, but I'm really lucky I live for my boyfriend, Nathan um, Maguire, who's racing tomorrow. And I think we've just had each other to bounce off. You know, if I'm having a bad day and I don't want to get up and train, he, he's like, come on, you know what you're training for? And, and I can do it the other way. So I've been really lucky just to have him there as motivation. And obviously Tokyo on the horizon, that's all I want. I just want a gold medal. So got to work for it. You're going to mention a Paralympic year next year, all the motivation you need. But, you know, what would you like to get out of 2021? Oh, 2021, just like a bit of normality, I think. <laughs> just want a bit of a crowd, a bit of a season. You know, we've, I'll have raced twice this year, so woo, massive season. Um, you know what, this year has been great for kind of resetting and giving myself a bit of a rest, but I realised how much I love racing and how much I miss it when it's not there. So the motivation going into 2021 is just to do what I love.